Hello, this is Mrs. Penninger and I wanted to give you a quick overview of tips and tricks to help you recognize the different phases of mitosis. So um, right now you're probably thinking, oh this isn't too hard, I can do this, but then when the pictures of the real cells come, that's when it gets tricky. So I've noticed that my students have a hard time, so I thought this would help you. So we're going to start off with this really nice picture here. Um, this is a really nice zoomed in picture of some cells and you can see everything really clearly so it makes it easy um, but, but we don't always have a nice zoomed in picture so hopefully you can tell that this one right here is prophase because you can see all of the chromosomes and they're right in the center as if the nuclear membrane had just disintegrated um, but you can see the chromosomes and you can see the spindle, the nice pink spindle um, so that's really easy and then metaphase is the second one here. You can tell it's metaphase because all the chromosomes are lined up right in the center on a nice little line. And then anaphase is this next one. You can tell it's anaphase because this, the pink spindle fibers are separating and the chromosomes, the purple blue colored chromosomes are separating from the middle and traveling toward the opposite poles. Here's one pole over here and one pole over here. And then lastly, telophase is really easy. Some people pronounce it telophase. Telophase is easy to tell because you can see two separate nuclei. And you can still see the chromosomes in there, just barely. They haven't completely decondensed back into chromatin. But um, you can tell that there are two separate nuclei and the spindle fibers are starting to go back to a little bit less visible. So again, this picture is super easy to tell what's going on. So let's try some more difficult ones. So what are we really looking for? Here's a nice drawing. What are we really looking for? If we want to tell the difference between prophase and interphase, for example, that one's pretty difficult. People find a hard time, find that it's they have a hard time doing that. Um, so let's try that. This cell right here is an interphase and we know it's an interphase because we just don't see any condensed chromosomes. We can tell that mitosis has begun when we see chromosomes. So here's interphase and interphase and interphase. Anytime you see just one little small dark spot in the nucleus, we know that it's an interphase. That's the nucleolus that you're looking at and sometimes they have two and that's okay. Um, these are plant cells. We know they're plant cells because you can see the cell wall. Um, that makes it, for some reason, people think that plant cells are easier to determine what phase of mitosis they're in. So interphase, 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 lots of interphase. Uh, remember that interphase is all of the cell cycle, G1, S, G2. All of this is all interphase except for mitosis. So interphase. So cells are in interphase a lot more of the time. That's why there are so many of them in interphase. All right, this guy right here, prophase. We can tell it's prophase because we can still sort of see the nuclear membrane and we can still see the little nucleolus, but the chromosomes are starting to show up. So that's how we can tell the difference from prophase and then interphase. Here's another prophase. It's a little bit earlier in prophase. Um, again, you can still see the little nucleolus, but you can start to see the chromosomes. Prophase. Look, another prophase. This one is metaphase. And why isn't it prophase? Well, I can really see the spindle really clearly, and I can see that the chromosomes are starting to line up right in the center. Okay, um, here's a nice picture of anaphase. It might even be at a point where it's starting to start telophase because you can start to see this little cell plate forming. We could have an argument about that because not every single picture is cut and dry. Um, here's, a, here's a really great anaphase picture. You know, um, this is metaphase, we already did that one. So that's, that's pretty much all of them that are in mitosis, uh, except for these guys. What's going on here? Well, that looks like to me a very late telophase. Maybe, maybe just almost an interphase, or maybe just barely starting interphase. These are these nuclei are so small compared to these other ones. We can tell they're baby cells; they're brand new cells. Okay, really quickly, just a few more. I said I'd make it under five minutes. I'm not doing very well with that. Look at this picture. These these are real cells. That last one was a drawing. Um, this guy is in metaphase. You can tell because those chromosomes are lined up right in the middle. 
Um, I'm going to erase what I just did there because uh, I'll talk about the cell next door. This cell next door, this is late anaphase, maybe early telophase. How do I know it's in early telophase? I can see the cell plate forming right in the middle. That's a new cell wall that's starting to form. So I'd probably call that one telophase. Um, this one, much further in telophase. Same phase, but further along. You can see the cell plates really formed, but I can still see chromosomes. So I know it's not quite finished with mitosis. But what about this one? I would call this prophase. Interphase right here. Prophase here. Uh, this one's probably prophase. Here's here's one that I think is an interphase. Um, and then sometimes, like this guy right here, you don't really see anything. This is kind of a blur. I wouldn't count that in my count. I, if I was trying to count how many cells were in each phase, I just wouldn't count that one. Uh, mainly because I don't see the nucleus. Uh, remember, we're looking at a cross-section, a cut through some tissue. So maybe we left the nucleus on the other piece that we didn't put on the slide. All right, here's some more. More plant cells, cell walls. Look at this big, weird looking thing. I would call that prophase because I see chromosomes are sort of in the middle. Um, they're not really organized, but they're just sort of like in a blob in the center of the cell. Um, this one, however, really nice and organized and aligned. That's definitely metaphase. This one, my students love this one. They're like, I don't even know what's happening there, Mrs. Penninger. Well, it's probably metaphase. But again, it might be that I cut half the cell off and left it somewhere else, so I'm, I might not even count that one. There's a good prophase. What about this? Anaphase. See the little Vs? Prophase here. And then, this is probably prophase. There's lots of cells in interphase. Interphase, 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 interphase. Lots of cells in interphase. Um, look at this guy. Probably just finished telophase. See how small they are. They're real small nuclei compared to this great big one. So we can tell it's a baby cell. All right, keep them going. This one's really cool because this is a more three-dimensional picture. This is a photograph um, using a different kind of microscope so that we can really see things. You can see the chromosomes better, and now hopefully you can see what a cell in inter uh, interphase really looks like. Look at this. It just looks like a little fried egg inside the cell wall there. Here's metaphase anaphase, another anaphase. See how much easier this is when you start to tell what's going on? I hope you think that anyway. All right, these are animal animal cells. Animal cells, because they don't have a cell wall. Um, check this guy out. This is anaphase. Here's a, here's a prophase. Somebody might argue with me about that. I think it's prophase, because the dark colored chromosomes stain when they're, when they're formed as chromosomes and not as chromatin. I think this is interphase, for example. Um, all right, metaphase. Look at this really nice line. You can see the spindle fibers all on the sides here. I'm trying to kind of draw over them. Um, this is early anaphase. It was just finishing metaphase, going into anaphase. Here's a metaphase. All right, and then this right here, telophase. More plant cells. Okay, you right now, point to one in prophase. See if you find one. Did you find this one? Or maybe ah, this one? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe this guy. Barely. Mm, maybe this one. It's a little bit tricky. Hard to tell. All right. Find a metaphase. There's two of them. Maybe three. Probably three. One here. One here. One here. And I'm in a hurry. I'm trying to be quick. So maybe I missed one. Here's a great anaphase. Telophase. Find one in telophase. There's a couple of good ones. Here's a great one. Look at this. You see the little cell plate starting to form? You see the spindle? The two really solid nuclei starting to form. The chromosomes are still there. You can still see them. All right, last slide. Here's a great quiz. You can quiz yourself. Go ahead and guess. Pause, the, pause it right now and write them down. Pause it right now and write them down. And then when you're done, hopefully you've you just unpaused it. Now, um, number one. Number one would be telophase. Number two, telophase. Number three, <laughs> late anaphase, early telophase. Number four, prophase. Five, telophase again. Man, this is a lot of telophase. Number six, what do you think? Let's have an argument about it. Pro prob probably prophase, maybe, maybe interphase, maybe the very tail end of interphase. Um, number seven, that's a lovely metaphase. 
Okay, I hope you had good luck identifying the different stages of mitosis. We'll talk to you later. Maybe. I'm going to learn how to pause this thing. All right. Bye, guys.